I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna Put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds we put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up some loosens. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot Hello viewers I'm Let's Play Xiang Qi. I'm back again. This is video PY5, Python project for beginners, car rental system. So far, we have updated the static data, like car color, plate number, customer IC on cars and customers master tables. Today, we will update the tables based on our business logic requirements on car rental. Now, let's talk about the business logic of the system. This is the business logic of the car's table. When a new car is inserted into the car's table, it will have the following status. For example, for these fields, book yes, no, the field is no. Now we look at this table for comparison. This table is from car's master table. We look at this record number 5. For this record Toyota Vios, we can see the status book yes no equals to no. This no and this no is the same. So this is a new record. For a new record, the book yes no is no. Same as this one. For the date rented start and date rented end, this two. It is blank like this. Same goes for this one. Date rented start, date rented end is blank. For the book date, it is blank. Let's say for record number five, we scroll to the right. 
Look, it is blank. B. When the car is booked by the customer, it will have the following status. When the car is booked, the field here, book yes, no, is yes. For example, you look at this record, Mercedes. Book yes, no, is yes. Because the car has been booked. Next, date rented start and date rented end will have a date like this. So if we look for Mercedes record here, these two dates will have dates. Car return, yes, no, is yes. When the car is first booked by the customer, the car return yes no field is yes. The book date will have a date. For example, we go back to Mercedes second record. We move to the right. Look, there is a date here. This date is the same as this date. The car is booked for rental from 4 June to 6 June. That is here, 4 June, 6 June. The book date is 2 June 2022. That is this one. C. When the customer has made full payment and collected the car, the car return yes, no field is changed from yes to no. For the sake of simplicity, the customer will collect the car on date rented start. Now look at the status here. When the customer has made full payment and collected the car, car return yes, no is no. Note. For the sake of simplicity, the customer will return the car on date rented end. D. When the customer returns the rented car, it will have the following status. Book yes, no will become no. Date rented, start and end will be blank. Book date will be blank. Car return, it will change from no to yes. That will be the full cycle. And notice that when a customer returns the rented car, it will have the following status. That is this status. And this status is identical to this status. Now, let me introduce you to another file. That is the customer bookings file. When the customer make a new booking, we will create one record in this table, cast bookings table. Let's look at an example. If a customer has made a booking, so we will create one record like this. We have the customer ID, we have the car ID, This car ID is similar to the car ID in the car's master table. There will be date rented start and date rented end. Notice that these two fields also exist in the car's list table that is here. Date rented start and date rented end. Fulfill yes, no. Fulfill yes no means when a customer has made full payment, he comes to our office and collect the car. When he has collected the car, this field will be changed from N to Y. 
This is fulfilled, yes, no. This is date of fulfillment. This date booking is similar to cast list date booking that is on, on the right hand side. Total rented amount, for example, if a customer rented a Mercedes C200, per day is 1,200. So for two days, it will be 1,002 times 2. That's 2,400. 2,400 is the total rent amount. Date payment is the day the customer make the payment. Date car return is the day the customer return the car. For simplicity's sake, this date car return field is the same as this date rented end. Book by whom? Book by Mary, for example. Sequence number. Sequence number is the running number of the customer booking table. For example, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 is in running number. Car return, yes, no. Yes means the customer has returned the car. Credit card number, credit card expiry date, and paid by cash or paid by car. These are the details, for example. Now, let's start the superb car rental system. In this example, I will make a car booking. Okay, I'll select two. Member, customer. To enter, a login, one enter, login Joe, one, two, three, password, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make a car booking, number five, five enter. I will select car ID six, six enter. Rental date start 16062022 enter Rental date end 17062022 Book by whom Mary Are you sure you want to save the record? Yes. Car booking record added. Now we are looking at this customer booking stable. These are the column names. And this is the record we added just now. So just now we log in as customer ID 1 and the car ID is 6. We booked this one, 6 per dua kanchil. That rented start, that rented end. The whole column is the same as this column. So, date rented start and date rented end. Date fulfilled, we haven't passed him the key yet, so this is playing. Price per day for this car is 700. So here, we have 700. Book by Marie. This is the sequence number, running sequence number. Now let's go to the make car booking function. From the main menu, number two, member, customer.
customer menu first we log in after we log in successfully then we make a car booking number five that is here make car booking F12 For Mac car booking, these are the validation. Date input must be Dede Maman, yeah, 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 yeah. The maximum rental days must be less than 30 days. If a car booking is paid, fulfillment, yes, no, will be yes. That is, when a customer has paid for his car rental, he will get the key. When he get the key, this field, fulfill yes, no, will be changed from no to yes. That means we have passed him the key. Now, let's see how the function works. Okay, first we call the dot car list. F12. So for dot car list, we read the car table and pass all the records to lines and return to the calling program. So this car list will have a record of all the cars. Then we call this function. Check maximum number of car bookings. Maximum of car bookings in this case, we set it to 10. So it will check whether the customer has spent more than 10 bookings. For this function, we pass it the customer ID and the maximum number of car bookings, that is 10. Let's go to the function, F12. This is the function. First, it loads the customer bookings, F12. This function will read all the records from customer bookings and then return all the records to the calling program. So this list, cast bookings list, will have all the records of the customer booking. For I in range land, cast bookings list, the program will go to each and every record to find a matching cast ID and fulfill yes, no equals to no. If there is a matching, it, it will add up the numbers. If it's more than 10, it will return true. If less, it return false. So this function, if check maximum loss car bookings, if it's more than 10, then you have reached a maximum of 10 car bookings. Thus, further booking is not allowed. Otherwise, the program goes here. For I in range land car list, the program will access each and every record in the cars table to find a matching where this field book yes no equals to no. This is book yes no equals to no. So if you look in the Excel file, it is this column. So the cars are printed. Please enter the car ID, getting the input from the user. Then this function, check car available, F12. This is the function. First, it get all the car list into this car list variable. Then the program will go through all the records and find a matching car ID and where book equals to no. If the car is available, it returns true. Else, it returns false. If the car is available, then it will do a break here. This break will 
break away from the wall loop. This is the wall loop. So it will get out from this wall loop and then it will come here. Next, the program will get user input. Rental date start and rental date end. Then it checks here, validate DD man man yeah 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 yeah. It checks the format of the date. Let's go to the function F12. This is the function. It checks that the date format should be day day man man yeah yeah. If the rent date start is okay, then it will check for rent date end. If both of these days are okay, then it will get the number of days between the date end and date start. It calls the function get days F12. This is the function. This function get the number of days between date end and date start. And then when you get the number of days, you got to convert to integer by running this command. So return number of days is an integer. And it calls another function. Check date rented valid. The argument is rent date start F12. This is the function. This function is to check that the date must be greater than today's date. Then it returns a true or false. If all the input are okay, it will get the user input book by whom. Next, it call this function get car record. Let's go to that function F12. This is the function. This function reads the cars table and return the selected car to the calling program. If all the input are correct, the program will display to the user the data. Are you sure you want to save the record? Next, it calls the function get customer bookings last row. Let's go to the function F12. This is the function. It will get all the records from the customer bookings table and then get the last record number. Before it returns to the calling program, that last number plus one. If the user confirms he wants to save the record, the program will open the cast bookings table with A attribute. That is, it will insert one record only into the text file. Here, it opens the table, then writes to the text file and close it. Next, it calls this function update car book. And these are the argument car ID, yes, rent start date, and rent date end, and my date now. My date now is the current date time. Okay, let's go to this function update car book F12. This is the function. This function loads the car list table into this variable car list. Then for i in range land cars list, it will access every record to find a matching car ID. If there is a matching car ID, it will update the elements with these four pieces of information. One, two, three, four. Then it will open up the Kali's text file with a W attribute. For I in range land cast list, for each record in the car list table, it will clean the data first and then write to the file. 
If the make car booking is successful, then car booking record added. Then the program logic. false if you like my video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you again in the next video bye bye I'm a fight like a man, I'm a beast of the net They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty